Improving the walleye fishery continues to be a goal on Mille Lacs Lake. Recently, researchers from the Minnesota DNR conducted the first step in a research project they hope will provide information about the number of Mille Lacs Lake walleye hatched in the wild. Our Chelsea Brown has more. The walleye population on Mille Lacs isn't where we want it to be. It has come down. Uh, right now, we're getting really good natural reproduction. We're just not getting good survival to the older ages. To find out the causes of the downfall in the walleye population, the Minnesota DNR began phase one of their new research project. Fisheries biologists collected nearly 300 spawning female walleye that were milked of their eggs for future fry to be put back into the lake. That's going to help us learn several things, including the number of wild fry that are out there, the number of wild eggs that are produced, and the ratio of the survival between those. Their initial goal was to strip 20 million eggs to produce 10 million fry, but in just a few days they've already exceeded those numbers. We wanted to put enough out here that we knew we, we could find some um, when we come back next fall to look for the young fish. Biologists collected 160 quarts of walleye eggs that will be transported to the St. Paul hatchery. The fry hatch from the captured eggs will then be marked and released back into Mille Lacs. This process helps protect the genetic integrity of the current population. The lake has been changing. We've only had one good year class in the, late, in the last eight years or so. That's the 2013s. We need to learn what those reasons are so we can get the walleye population back up to where we want to see it. The walleye fry are expected to hatch in 10 to 17 days depending on water temperatures. From there they plan to compare the numbers of those born in the hatchery to those in the wild this fall. On Mille Lacs Lake, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The DNR has done similar research on several area lakes, including Leech, Vermilion, Ottertail, Winnebagosh, and Red. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.